Okay, I'm just going to take five minutes to briefly tell you about vibrating technology um, used for level switches. Um, I have been asked the question as to why do you use vibration instead of capacitance or instead of rotary paddle. Um, so I'll explain a bit about the probe first and then why we use this technology over the others. Here we have a, a classic side mounted vibrating level probe. So how does it work? We have a crystal in the back of the level probe which vibrates this sensor here. You can see it's a diamond shape and actually inside this probe is another probe. Here's one which I've cut away so you can see that there is a rod inside the diamond and this gives us a, a big advantage because it prevents on a traditional device where uh, the tuning fork can get blocked up between the two forks. Well the whole principle of this is vibration. So we have it's like a tuning fork at school where you have two forks and they resonate. This is what is going on here now this uh, unique design vibrates uh, horizontally backwards and forwards gives a very very uh, sensitive uh, measurement so when this is surrounded by product the vibration is affected and the frequency shifts so the unit can then detect that going on in the electronics and just plug it in you can possibly hear that vibrating there and then if i just gently touch the end we get switched output, it takes two seconds to recover, and then we see it switch back again. So very, very simple, very sensitive, which is ideal for powders, flakes, granules, very light materials, flour, cement are typical, um, because a good advantage here, they're very, very sensitive on the tip, which that's now switched. But if this was mounted through the side of a silo, you can hold it and get a big build up here, but it won't make the product switch at all. So it's a good advantage. Now they're not just mounted in this orientation. I'll switch that off. Uh, we have lots of different versions. We do a cable version, which can be mounted from the top of your silo. And these can extend up to about 20 meters. The loading on here, because it's all sealed in top and bottom, you can put a loading of about one ton. If you're using it for a high level alarm, these can be mounted into your silo, coiled up and then cable clipped. The technology operates on very light, fluffy products, products down to 20 grams per litre. But there is another reason why we use these in our safety systems. Reliability is critical, but also the ability to ground level test. So what that is to do with, we can, at the bottom of our silo, when we do a, a ground level test, we can check that the probe is working. And what we do is we actually stop the inner probe from oscillating and vibrating. Now let's uh, look at a typical application, for example, on cement. What's the most popular uh, device? We could use a paddle switch. These are abundant in the cement industry predominantly because they are the cheapest device available. They are the lowest cost product, but there are some drawbacks. Firstly, you have a motor in here to rotate this paddle around. That's how this uh, sensor works, which can wear out. You have a blade which can wear out. There are seals within the shaft to stop all the powdered product going back up in there, and those would need changing. If this blade were to come loose or drop off, there is no mechanism in here to detect that that's dropping off. Now, these products range from $200 to about $800. Some of them now have a basic form of test. But one of the problems associated with this product is as they rotate into a light product, you'll find uh, that they can actually dig a hole. So they become less sensitive. Now let's compare that with capacitance. They operate on dielectric. So when you immerse this into a product, uh, you change the field of capacitance and you get a signal out. The only problem with this probe is that you do have to immerse it into the product to get the most accurate setting. Adjust the sensitivity, remove it, make sure it switches off, put it back into the product, make sure it switches on. That's typically how you set up a capacitance probe. Um, that isn't always uh, practical and just involves another step, which is why we use vibration. Another possible problem with some types of capacitance probe is that they measure dielectric and some products such as fly ash have a low dielectric which will make using these sensors very difficult for that. 
So if we're looking for a reliable level switch uh, for a high level alarm in typical safety applications like overfill, overspill prevention, or for use on a silo protection application, we choose vibration. Why do we choose vibration? There is no maintenance to do. There are no moving parts in the technology. It's unaffected by changes in dielectric, which you might experience on products such as cement. There's no calibration to carry out on the instrument, like on capacitance, you just drop it into your product and it works fine. It has a self-cleaning effect, so a lot of the dust buildup, product buildup, by the vibration, uh, vibrating effect of the probe, cleans this every time. And of course, for a critical safety application, it is fail-safe. Okay, that was just a quick five minute summary. Hope it's been useful. If you've got any questions, please call the office 01527 406 800 or just have a look on the website www.highcontrol.com. Thanks for listening.